What if Sin latest build update 2004 broke the driver's support for the Xbox 360 wireless receiver? And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So right after Windows update, you will notice that the drivers are removed or broken, and you won't be able to install them the regular way. As you can see, unknown device and no Xbox 360 drivers down at the bottom where they used to be. On unknown device, go to properties, details, and select hardware IDs. By the end of the second line, you should find the ID number that we want. In this case, it's 0291. You need to remember this number or just save it in a text file. After that, go to the link in the description below and download the official Xbox 360 controller drivers from Microsoft. After downloading, extract the .exe file and go to Xbox 360 Setup 64 Files Driver Windows 7 Here is the file that we need xusb21 with the extension of INF or System Information Open this file using Notepad Now we need to replace this number here with the number that we saved earlier. We can do that by going to Edit, Replace. So we need 0719 to be replaced with 0291. It's that simple. So click Replace All and Save. Now you have the driver's file ready to be installed, however Windows won't allow you to install it unless you are in test mode. And to enter test mode, go to your start menu and type cmd and run it as administrator. Now enter the commands in the description below for test mode on and then press enter and report your PC. After restarting, you should notice a watermark on the bottom right corner of your desktop saying test mode. That means that now you can install the drivers file. Just go to that file, right click on it and click install and then install anyway. Now if you go to device manager to confirm that it worked, you can see that Xbox 360 wireless receiver is installed successfully. Now only one thing left is to turn the test mode off. Same as before, run CMD as administrator and enter the command for the test mode off from the description below as well and then restart your PC. That was it guys, thank you so much for watching, if it was helpful for you, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.